Hi friends in Artland, welcome to the Seb Duke Show. The show where we talk about art marketing and mindset. My name is Seb Duke and I'm an artist and art marketing consultant. I'm here to help artists like you market your art better, to reach the right audience and enhance your mindset in order to become more productive and efficient in whatever tasks you tackle. That's why I bring you inspiring and practical advice to help guide you on your path to artistic greatness. And I do this because I truly believe that all art deserves to be seen, and that starts with yours. Now we're about to start episode 27, Create a Life You Don't Need to Escape From. Today, I want to talk about the importance of creating a life you enjoy. If you want to be happy, if you want to enjoy life, just live your life under your own terms. Don't live your life to make anyone else happy. Don't make choices to make other people happy. You're the one living your life. Other people are busy living theirs. They're not living yours. So just make sure that you're living a life that makes you happy. It's your life. You need to make the most of it. And here's the thing. There are no rules in life when it comes down to happiness. You define your own happiness. Now, there's no rules. There's laws like don't steal, don't kill people. But there are no rules per se, when it comes down to happiness. As long as, if you do something, no one else dies or suffers because of what you choose to do, go ahead and do it. In a sense, I guess that's kind of one of my strongest philosophies in life. If I feel like doing something, I'll just ask myself, if I do this thing, is someone going to die or is someone going to suffer? And if the answer is no, then I go ahead and do it. But aside from that, like happiness is extremely personal. What makes you happy is not what makes your neighbors happy. What makes you happy is not what makes your parents happy. What makes you happy is not what makes your friends happy. So if following conventions doesn't make you happy, that's okay. If living a creative life makes you happy, that's okay. If not following what society has dictated as normal makes you happy, that's okay. Like, here's an example that always makes me smile. I've never really liked to take vacation time in order to just leave and go somewhere else, especially on a beach, because That's time that I can't work on my creative projects. I've always used my vacation time to work on my creative projects, and I'd look forward to it so much. I'd just clear out my schedule, and I'd work on long creative projects from morning till the evening, and just fully get immersed into it. And going away on a beach for a week seems like such a waste of time and money to me. It's one week that you just throw away where you do nothing. It just makes no sense to me to pay money to go do nothing. For me, going to a beach is actually more stressful than it is to not go. You'd give me a free trip and I would dread going because that would be forcing me to take time to go away and not be creative. That's not a plus in my life. That's punishment. Like during my time in the corporate world, during a work week, I would work at work during the daytime. But then I'd come back at home and work on my creative projects, whatever that may be music, web comics, I'd shoot music videos, whatever my creative projects were, that's what I would do when I got back home, evenings and weekends. Because that's what made me happy. 
work during the daytime in order to fund my creative passions that I would then pursue on nights and weekends. And then for longer projects, I would always use my vacation time to work on them. I'd fully immerse myself into those projects for a few days, like writing a full album, recording a whole album. And I don't talk about it much here, but I used to be in bands and recorded music before I was a visual artist. So I would book a week off and write an album in a week. Then... Six months later, I would book another week off, and I would spend all of that time recording that album. In fact, the reason why I started creating visual art happened during a week of vacation. It's how I went from being a musician to a guy who creates bubbles, and one day, I'll record a podcast episode about it. But that's for another time. Today, we're talking about creating a life you enjoy. And you know what always fascinated me? It's when at work I would tell my co-workers that I was taking a week off. And every time, everyone would always ask, Oh, where are you going on vacation? Anything fun? And I would answer, Oh, I'm staying at home. And then they would always go, Oh, just a staycation, eh? As if somehow I've failed at something in my life Because I'm not using my vacation time to go away to Cuba, Mexico, or all-inclusive. As if you're not going away when you book your time off, something's wrong with you. They're wondering what's wrong with you for not wanting to escape your life. That's always fascinated me so much because I was looking forward to staying home so I could work on my project so much. To me, that equaled like ultimate happiness to finally have a full week to dedicate to my creative projects. And it always made me so sad for other people that they would think this way, that for them, their ultimate life goal was to book some time away from their life. Like, you hate your life so much that you must escape it at the first occasion you get. You spend 50 weeks working for that one week off where you can escape? How sad is that? And this coming from the same people who would just be watching Netflix and reality TV every night and weekend. Like, you have such an empty life at home. It's so empty. You have to escape it as often as you can. I find it so sad when it feels like people are living a full year for that one week where they get to go away. I mean, what about the rest of the year? How about instead of watching Netflix and reality TV, you create a life that you enjoy and don't need to escape from? And on top of that, what a lot of people aren't telling you is that they're actually out of money. So they're going to put their trip on their credit card and then they're going to spend the next year paying it back until they can go away again and then put it on the credit card and repay it all year long. Like, is that a way to live? How much sadder can it get? And those are the people who will judge you for doing what makes you happy? Man, just do whatever makes you happy. And don't let other people judge you for making different choices. There's nothing wrong with traveling. Don't get me wrong, but it's not my definition of happiness. My definition of happiness is to create as much art as I can. It's to create as many podcasts as I can, Whatever it is I create, as long as I'm creating, I'm happy. Creating art makes me happy. So does recording this podcast, because I get to create it from nothing and turn it into something. Like from a thought, from an idea, I get to turn them into audio content that then you get to listen to. And that's how I define happiness. That's why I take the time to record three episodes a week, because I enjoy it so much. I love creating. 
It's what makes me happy. And I love creating a life I love. And I guess that's what I want to tell you today. As long as you're not harming anyone else, create a life that you love. Create the conditions so that you can be happy. Ultimately, it's your life. If people judge you, doesn't matter. It's not their life. If people disapprove of what you do, it doesn't matter. They're not living your life. You are living your life. So if creating is what makes you happy, create a life where you can create as much as possible. In the end, create a life that you enjoy so much you won't need to escape it. And if you feel like you need help creating that life, get in touch with me and book a coaching session. We'll take a look at who you are, where you're at, what the roadblocks are, and how we can knock them down so that you can live your best creative life ever. Just visit sebduke.com and head over to the coaching session or send me a DM on Instagram at seb.duke and we'll get to tackle that. All right, this is where I sign off for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Seb Duke Show. Make sure you live a creative life if that's the life you want. Make sure you create a life you don't need to escape from. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.